Hello, welcome to this tutorial. In this tutorial, we are going to be using the basics of jQuery on your website. Just want to give you some brief overviews of jQuery and just things it can do. So I basically have a table set up here where we are using a hard-coded version of jQuery. Sometimes you will see different, you will see actually a URL to Google or things that points to the bleeding edge or the new release of jQuery. I personally do not like that because there might be some changes that could break your code, things like that, so I'd rather just hard code it. So, um, As you can see, basic table with an ID of employees. Uh, that ID of employees is important. Um, the ID, not what is in the ID, but just IDing that table. So, the first thing we're going to do is let's get the whenever you start with your first piece of J, um, jQuery your scripts will most one of your scripts will most likely want to have this in it and let me just type it out and then after I'm done zoom in here a little bit Okay, so basically, when the web page or the document is ready, execute this function. So, in other words, you will want this is if you needed something to happen right after the page loaded. So, but for the beginning, it doesn't hurt to have this, so uh, I would just get used to doing that. So, what we're going to do is again alternating rows of color is something that there are many ways to do it now I'm going to just throw an extra row in here while I'm talking uh, you can easily ID odd and even and of each of these rows and it works fine but what happens if you have to delete one then that's going to ruin your rotation so what we're going to do here is we're going to come down to where I have my style sheet and we're going to create a new class called alternate row. And just to be simple, we'll give it a background color of CCC. So, now, as far as jQuery, we are going to do... TR even. So that'd be the even rows. Dot add class. And you guessed it. That. Now the other thing you probably want to do, just in case you have table headings, is you might want to throw T-body. So basically, what you're saying is when the document is ready, look for any elements that have the ID employees, and to that, look for the T-body, and inside the T-body, look for the TRs, but we're specifying even. You could just get rid of that and do all TRs, but we want to do alternates. So, that being saved, let's go here, and you've got it. So you got the first one. You can also change even to odd, and I'll do that. So, there's a simple way of adding a class to an element. Again, where I, I think the example with the table is the biggest way I would see it. Now, we can do this and change, uh, or change add to remove 
refresh the page, and it's removed. Pretty simplistic stuff. So now, let's say you wanted to add a button or a link that when you click it, the table disappears. So we're going to go to type, we're going to make it a button. We are going to give it an ID, and we're going to give it an ID of hide button, and we'll give it a value of hide table. So now let's come over here up into our jQuery, and we are going to go dollar sign. Hide button dot click function okay so when a click happens to an element on the page that has an ID hide button we want to do the following dollar sign employees dot hide so now if we come here we refresh the tables hidden so you hit it again, nothing happens. And if you refresh the page, of course, it'll come back. Let's duplicate the let's duplicate this button real quick. We're gonna call this toggle button. And we're gonna say hide show. I'm basically gonna just copy this, paste it, change that to toggle and change this to toggle. Let's go ahead and save it. Refresh the page, we have our new button. But now if you click it, back and forth, it goes back. So if I have it showing, I click this, that, see that still works, and I can come over here and click that, and it'll work because of the toggle function. If it's currently hidden, or it, the, it's basically yeah, been hidden, it will do the opposite to it. So, uh, again, I'm sorry for going so fast. Let me just scroll in for the people on YouTube so they can kind of see what's going on here. So that's it for the basics. Um, thank you for watching, and I will be posting some more tutorials on some little bit more basic stuff to advance. Thank you.